That's a home right near the river, kind of hard to see, but the car falls and you can see the splash when it hits the water. Police know about this video. They also say that a family has contacted them about the crash and a missing loved one. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick leading the way tonight with more on this developing story. Brian. Yeah, Mike, well, Same. we've learned that the person, this missing person, worked nearby, that they left work at about 420. Just about enough time to get on the Combs Hill Bridge at the time of the crash. We have other details, but we're not going to release those. We're hanging on them until they make a positive identification, and we're told that could be days. The vehicle remains submerged along with critical clues. And recovering any of them depends on the disposition of the Ohio River. Again, keep in mind, this river is very unfriendly right now, very unforgiving. Boone County Water Rescue Captain Dale Apple says their first priority is to recover the victim. But the current of the river is more than three times the speed needed to dive, even faster now than the day of the crash when a diver did go into the water. The current was so swift, it, it wrapped him up and caused some severe problems. But there is progress. Although it's uh, circumstantial at this time, there's a strong possibility that we, we believe we know who might be uh, have been driving at the time the vehicle went over the bridge. Campbell County Police Chief Craig Sorrell says a family has come forward reporting a missing person. That person was driving a red Grand Am, the exact vehicle believed to be at the bottom of the river. But don't have to get to the vehicle to get answers and release an ID. I've spoken with the family and, and they want to wait until we get confirmation. Investigators are still trying to determine what caused the crash. A dozen vehicles were involved, including the one that plummeted nearly 100 feet into the water. Crews will wait until the water calms because once they begin the recovery, they have no plans to stop. It's our intention once we begin, we finish the job. Now, they had hoped to begin that recovery by Monday, but with the conditions of the Ohio River, they're saying now that's going to be back, pushed back till at least Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday.